This question cannot be answered by mainstream physics. But in this theory, the answer is very simple. It is the future that is outside the universe. It is possible to have an infinite universe within a finite sphere as long as the sphere is continuously expanding. This can be visualized in fractal geometry where we have infinite diversity on the border of a finite geometrical object. In such a theory, the universe would be a continuum of continuous energy exchange forming the time dilation of Einstein's relativity. With the energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of continuous creation. This can be visualized using hyperbolic geometry with every point and every direction being relative to each other. We have here the hyperbolic plane that can represent the universe and the time dilation of Einstein's relativity. The smaller the pattern gets the greater the contraction of space and time. It would take an infinite amount of energy to get to the edge of the universe that is represented by the infinite nature of the pattern. With a little visualization you can imagine that whatever point represented you within the pattern would contract relative to your energy and momentum. An arc would expand relative to this energy and momentum, giving the impression that you are in the center, when in fact we can see that the edge of the plane is infinite. Any point in the pattern would see itself at the center relative to the energy and momentum of its own actions. At the smallest scale of the process this energy is represented by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. It is this process of energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as a period of time. We have photon energy cascading down from the sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization forming the passage or continuum of time. There is no concept of time at all in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of charge into three parts representing three-dimensional space. This is because the continuum of time is formed by light waves interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atoms. In this theory, the atoms are standing waves in time, with the future unfolding photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. Whenever the atoms bond or break, there is an exchange of photon energy, with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the atoms. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. In such a theory, classical physics represents processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations, with quantum mechanics representing the physics of time itself as a physical process, with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the uncertainty of everyday life at the smallest scale of the process. At the largest scale, the universe can be represented as a sphere of potentiality, forming an infinity of possibilities. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.